We've got three things all dealing with the F. You're going to have your flat 7 tone in the melody, and you're basically simulating an F7 like this. We also talked about getting to that F triad by lowering that tone, keeping these two. Okay, and then we just did, once again, an F. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to push it much and push them both. You're still an F. Really working around like an F7 sound. The sixth would be this way, and we would descend there. That's kind of, we're bending up into that, and when we reverse bend, we're going to end up with that one. So these are the two bits of the, of the skeleton there. We're going to pre-bend. So, which really gives us this. And when we lower, we're going to end up with this. So, oops. Oops, again. one up here. Let's see. Shoot, I don't know if that's it. Up, playing these two notes of an F9. So visualize it from there. I'm only on strings two and three with that double stop. Don't end up with that. Now you've got a sus chord. The other way, the other next lick was instead of playing your F and bending your unison there, it's going to be easier to find that F here. You could even do this with picking fingers and get a little bit of that snappy kind of sound. And down here, what do they do? And maybe you can even end up holding those two notes down at the end. Okay, oh, there's, there's 